Well, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Everybody doing all right? Good. I'm in the music room. Very cool place. It's even cooler when there's no teachers around because then I can do whatever I want. Wow. So I was, don't tell Mr. Cox. So I was walking around the music room this morning and I thought, hmm, what can I do to make this morning different? Let's see if this works. Wow, huh? I could have an introduction like that every day. That would be so cool. So good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, a couple of things before we uh, begin and get started. There's too many lights on that ceiling. There we go. Uh, in terms of announcements, Mr. Grocky is paging the following. Jake Miano, Jake Murphy, Scott Emerson, Kaylin Wesley, Bryn Bertucci, Gabby Fazieski, Ryan Stolars, Nick Park, Brenna Waldinger, Anna Young, and Christina Rusha. So you may be receiving a call from Mr. Grocky in the next few days. Uh, for seniors, please continue to check your email. Uh, there are a number of updates that are coming out to you with various initiatives that we're leading. And, and we also hope that you're enjoying the delivery of the lawn signs. Um, if you haven't received yours, it's on its way to you shortly. And boy, it's been great to see so many of you. Uh, the pictures are awesome. Uh, we'll be posting some of them on social media and then assembling all of them for a slideshow. For our ninth, 10th, and 11th graders, uh, stay tuned next week. I have a little challenge for you. It won't take long, but I could really use your help, but I'm curious as to what kind of a story you'll tell. Today, National Oatmeal Cookie Day, which of course brings to mind the question that is plaguing humankind for centuries, the cause of conflicts and wars throughout the course of human history, raisins or no raisins. I don't know what you think. Um, I can tell you what I think. No raisins. In fact, I can't believe I didn't mention them in my little dictator reflection yesterday. If I were a dictator, no raisins anywhere. Uh, for me, I love cinnamon. I don't know if you love cinnamon. And I love carrot cake. I love carrot cake. And if there's raisins in either of them, ugh, that's just me. So on to something more serious as we pray this morning. Pray for everybody who's been affected by COVID-19. Um, the uh, government is just going to release today more unemployment numbers, and um, those numbers are staggering. And as many of you know, Massachusetts uh, had its highest one-day death total from COVID-19 um, just announced yesterday. So, so many in their own Fenwick family affected by COVID-19. And so uh, this prayer comes from uh, Thomas Burton, uh, Thoughts in Solitude. I tend to pray it when I feel a little uncertain or uneasy and, um, and maybe I can't see exactly where I'm going or I can't sense God's presence in my life as, as I would like. And it helps me to have trust and to have hope. And I hope it, um, I hope it does the same for you. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not exactly mean that I am doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. 
Therefore, I will put trust in you always, though I may seem to be lost. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. May we always know, Lord, whoever you are to us at this moment in our lives, that you are with us and will never leave us. We ask this each in our own way, and I ask it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, our theme for today, really not a theme. It's kind of like a potpourri or a smorgasbord, and I couldn't spell either one of those when I was typing this morning. This day in history, 1789. Kind of curious to me. Your history teachers can explain more about why. 1789, George Washington inaugurated as the first president. 1945, perhaps uh, the most famous, infamous dictator in modern human history died this day, Adolf Hitler, 1945. 1952, this toy becomes the first to be advertised on television. Yeah, none of you students will ever guess. Mr. Potato Head. Google that and see what comes up for Mr. Potato Head. I hope it's not my picture. 1989, shocking. 1989, not that long ago. Tim Berners-Lee launches three letters that we take for granted. We don't even say them anymore. W, W, W. The World Wide Web first launched this day, 1989. 1992, the end of a famous sitcom. The last episode aired this day in 1992 of The Cosby Show. In 2009, Chrysler filed for bankruptcy. And in 2018, so you students, now you know this. This movie set the box office record for opening in 2018, just two years ago earning $250 million. The Avengers, Infinity War. Anyway, a little history for you. Uh, today there, I would just uh, draw our attention to two dates before we go uh, for Fenwick. So today, April 30th, Thursday, this was to be our arts night, uh, a celebration of the visual and performing arts uh, young artists having their display out in the new main space, a celebratory performance by our Fenwick band and by the Fenwick choirs. And, um, and we want to do something to honor that and to celebrate that. And in fact, uh, Mr. Burke just sent along an amazing, an amazing uh, compilation of all of the visual artwork. And I was going to play it this morning, but it's so good. It's so good. We need more hype. So we're going to find another time next week to share this like as a, as a, as a virtual kind of uh, unveiling of all this artwork and maybe even try to link a little music in with it. So we haven't forgotten about all of you amazing art students. In fact, your work is so good. I want to make sure we honor it appropriately. And the other thing about today, I don't know if you notice this, but uh, today, Thursday, April 30th, seven weeks ago, we all walked into Bishop Fenwick. It was Thursday, March 12th. It was the last time we gathered on this campus. It was the last time we had real in-person classes, seven weeks. Who would have thought when we walked in here that morning that we'd be on this journey. Uh, the good news is that we're on this journey together and that you've made it this far. So if you're a student listening now or listening a little bit later, like I know there are two fundamental realities that you're experiencing. One, you really miss your friends. And two, even though it's hard to admit, you actually miss school and your teachers and your coaches. Know that it's going to be okay, right? You have made it this far. You're doing an awesome job. 
You're doing amazing work. So keep the faith. Sometimes we don't think, oh, I can't get through the next day. But you probably thought that last week. And you got through it just fine. If somebody told you seven weeks ago what lies ahead, you might have thought, there's no way I can do that. But guess what? You did. And you're going to continue to do that as we move forward. So blessings on your day. Happy Thursday, Fenwick. Have a great one.